Welcome back to Primetime News. Special welcome to those of you watching on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, Brazilian football legend Pele is dead. The superstar revered as, by many as one of the greatest football players ever. Pele passed away today at a Brazilian health facility where he had been ailing for some time. His name is synonymous with football the world over. Edson Arantes do Nascimento, more popularly known as Pele, died on Thursday after years of battling cancer. The footballer who led his country to multiple World Cup titles and served as Minister of Sports in Brazil in his latter years was diagnosed with colon cancer in 2021. After years of treatment, Pele was admitted to a Sao Paulo hospital exactly one month ago on November 29 for a respiratory infection and re-evaluation of his chemotherapy treatment for colon cancer. Brazilian reports indicated that he was then moved into end-of-life care as he was no longer responding to treatment. Since hospitalization, his daughter Kelly Nascimento said the former football player contracted COVID-19 and developed a lung infection. A statement on her Instagram page Thursday confirmed that Pele had passed away. The hospital also released a statement Thursday saying Pele died due to multiple organ failure caused by progression of colon cancer. Pele is widely considered to be one of the greatest football players in history. He was 82. Now we have extensive coverage of the life of Pele in primetime sports. But joining me now in studio is Christopher Scott from our sports department. Chris, first of all, this development comes just weeks after the FIFA World Cup and the ongoing debate about who is the GOAT, the greatest of all times. Now that we are looking back at the life of Pele, what do you make of that debate? Uh, now you're going to have a lot more a lot more conversation as opposed to, to who is the greatest of all time. I mean, a lot of persons said that Messi needed to win the World Cup to be compared to the likes of Messi and Diego Armando Maradona, who passed away two years ago. So the, it's going to be an ongoing conversation. It has been for the past couple of years. It is going to be even more prevalent now. But, I mean, persons are still having this, this man as the greatest of all time to grace a football pitch. Once you look back at what he's accomplished over the years. Yeah. But now that we are uh, forced to make the comparison, uh, some persons are saying that uh, basically what Pele achieved then compared to what persons try to achieve now are, are achieving now. There's basically no comparison. What do you say about that? Um, I mean, persons always allude to the fact that, you know, it was rougher. The physicality was definitely there. Persons who get fouls and free kicks... Um, no, that's not what happened back then with Pele in the 50s, the 60s, and even the 70s when he won the World Cup in 1970. So there was a lot of physicality and persons allude that to the fact why Pele is the quote-unquote greatest of all time because he endured all that physicality and he still came out and won three World Cups. So that's the reason why persons have him as the greatest of all time. All right, and of course, the sports department has been tracking the, uh, the reactions to Definitely. this news all day. Uh, what can we expect in your report in primetime sports later? Of course, we're going to have um, tribute from a former, former coach. And of course, just look at the life of Pele and what he has been able to do throughout his career. I mean, this is, this is a man that, that, that is absolutely exceptional, even at, the, at his young age. So we, you can get that and more in primetime sports. All right, we're looking forward to it. Andrea? Thank you.